Hello, you on Pablo Spot. I'm George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on setting up load balancer infrastructure. And today, I will be making the necessary changes to my load balancer to allow for translating HTTP web requests to HTTPS. And so, if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interests, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. When I set my load balancer originally, I have security always at the back of my mind. And this is why I configured my load balancer to strictly listen to port 443, which is the HTTPS port or TLS listener port. The problem here is that this does not account for a natural behavior of everyone trying to access a website from the internet. Usually, when you try to access a website, you would open your browser and start typing the URL of the website that you're trying to access. But we rarely think about whether we should be accessing the website using HTTP or HTTPS. If you are a Chrome user, this is not an issue because Chrome translates the URL into HTTPS automatically. So let's have a look at this in action. If I plug in one of my URLs without providing the protocol in front, so I'm going to load my Lambda URL. Notice that the URL gets translated into HTTPS, which is indicated by the lock icon next to the browser URL field. However, if I switch to a different browser that does not translate the protocol automatically, one of these browsers is Edge, which is what I have loaded in here. And if I go ahead and plug in the same URL that I've loaded with my Chrome browser, This page will always try to attempt to hit the load balancer and it will eventually show a message that says my website is unreachable. And this is because the browser is trying to talk to my load balancer via port 80, which is not configured. And so my load balancer rejects the request. This has very significant impact to the end user because this is usually a deterrence to end users trying to access your website. So how do I fix this? What I need to do is allow my load balancer to listen on port 80 and manage the redirection and translation of the protocol from HTTP to HTTPS. My Edge browser has finally given up and displayed this error message that we are expecting. Now let me head to my VS Code to implement the fix. So what I'm going to do is open my main.tf and I will head to the section where I configured my listener resource. Which is right here. As you can see, I have a listener resource that's configured to handle port 443. And what I need to do is create a new listener resource. So I'm going to duplicate this. And rename the resource, call it HTTP. And then I'm going to change the port to 80 and the protocol to HTTP. And because I'm handling HTTP on this listener, I can then get rid of the SSL policy and the certificate ARN properties because I don't need them. And inside my default action block, I will change the type from fixed response to redirect. 
which means I no longer need this fixed response block. And I'll replace that with a redirect block. I want this listener to redirect the request to HTTPS, which is on port 443. And so I will add a port property inside this redirect block and set it to 443. And then I will also add a protocol property, which I will set to HTTPS to support the value of the port. And because I want the request trail to be enriched with status code 301, indicating a redirection, I will add a status code property. And this listener resource is what my load balancer will use to translate HTTP web requests into HTTPS. This is not the complete setup yet, but let's try to update my infrastructure and see what happens. So let me head to my VS Code terminal and export my TF workspace environment variable. And then set my AWS credentials using AWS Vault. Start running Terraform init. Run Terraform plan. and then Terraform apply. Now, if I switch back to my browser and refresh this page, The page is still not loading properly. This is because I've set up security measures on my load balancer to only allow ports that I need. I have a security group which acts as my firewall to my load balancer that's not currently allowing requests through port 80 to flow through. So let me switch back to my code. And what I'm going to do is head to the security group resource that I've configured for my load balancer which is right here. And at the moment, this security group is configured to allow inbound or ingress requests only on port 443. What I need to do is to enable port 80. So I will duplicate this existing ingress block. and then change the from port and to port properties to 80. And then I'm going to head to my VS Code terminal, run Terraform plan, and then Terraform apply to update my infrastructure. And now if I switch back to my browser 
and refresh this page. The page finally loads up. And if you check on the URL field on my browser, the page was translated into HTTPS, indicated by the lock icon next to the URL. And that's all I have for today. On the next episode, I will explore a refactoring exercise that will look into minimizing costs that involves load balancers. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.